Did you know that the catch rate of throws during a raid encounter actually increases with each throw? I'll expand on that in a second, but first, some myth busting. I've received a few comments on this channel asking whether throwing away Pokeballs during encounters increases the catch chances of subsequent throws. This also seems to be a theory quite prevalent on the internet, particularly when discussing techniques for catching Galarian birds. These Pokémon have a notoriously low catch rate, so any magic incantation that can be used to increase their catch odds is welcome. But so far, there has been no evidence that throwing away balls actually helps make it more likely to catch them. Instead, the spread of this belief, the so-called ball trick, seems to be an example of confirmation bias. When the wasting balls trick works by random chance, we take it as an example that the trick works, while when it fails, we explain away the result as bad luck. But don't worry, a vague argument blaming confirmation bias isn't all there is. In fact, there is research showing that there is a true form of the ball trick, and, helpfully, this research also disproves the Galarian bird style of ball trick. Let's have a look at the real ball trick. It turns out that during raids, each subsequent premier ball has a higher catch rate than the previous one. This is a really important effect, especially for 5-star raids, because it greatly increases your overall chances of a catch, relative to if this mechanic didn't exist. Let's have a look at what the evidence shows, and then we'll discuss what this means for catching after raids. As far as I'm aware, the first research on this topic was done by the Silph Road in 2021, and appeared in an article titled Raid Bosses Are Easier to Catch Later in the Encounter. Unfortunately, the Silph Road website is now down, so I'm accessing it using archive.org, and I've provided a link in the description to the archived version of this article. This research was based on data provided by numerous researchers about the success or failure of their catches during raid encounters. They recorded all the factors that we know contribute to catch rate, as well as how many premier balls had already been thrown at the raid boss. Based on this data, the Silph Road was able to statistically find a hidden multiplier to catch rate that appeared to increase with each subsequent throw. The fascinating graph in this article shows clearly that the premier ball catch rate starts at 1, equivalent to a regular Pokeball, and increases substantially with throw number, most clearly as the number of balls thrown gets past 5 or so. At around throw 5 to 7, this graph shows that there is an apparent multiplier of around 1.5x to the catch rate. For context, this is the same catch rate bonus as is provided by a Great Ball. By throw 9 or 10, the graph shows an apparent multiplier of around 2x, which is the same catch rate bonus as is given by an Ultra Ball. It must be said, however, that the error bars on this graph are absolutely massive. We can say with some certainty that there is an effect because the 95% confidence intervals are well above a 1 multiplier for the higher throw numbers, but we can't say with much certainty what the exact effect actually is. Furthermore, it's important to note that we can't be sure that the effect continues increasing past 10 throws, since that's where the presented data ends, although it feels to me that the trend might continue. At the bottom of the article, we find the answer to the original Baltric question as well. On the left is the graph showing the clear effect of throw number on the catch multiplier, but on the right, the same graph shows that for other encounters, such as Galarian birds, throw number has no effect. This is the good evidence that the ball trick doesn't work. The Silph Road published this study in July of 2021, and for quite some time, this data was the best we had. But fortunately, this wasn't the end of the research, and last summer, in July of 2023, some really interesting new evidence emerged. Twitter user at BMNRyPogo posted this tweet, leading with this stunningly precise result. The premier ball boost is 1.05 and multiplicative. This result is based on a high quality dataset of encounters provided by Malta, who runs rocket.malta.im, which unfortunately isn't up at the moment, but used to provide high quality shadow Pokemon information. Interestingly, this dataset was also used by at BMNRyPogo to verify that curveballs provide a 1.7x catch rate multiplier fact which was highly suspected, but not precisely experimentally confirmed until this tweet, as far as I know. In that tweet, he explains his exact methodology. Essentially, during a failed catch, the Pokemon Go server provides the client information about exactly how close it was to a successful catch. If the actual catch rate is, say, 10%, then the maximum value the server can provide for a failed catch is 90%. Using this, and with sufficient data, we can determine the exact catch rate of real throws and compare it to our expected model of a 1.7x catch rate multiplier for curveballs. He used the same method to determine the effect of throw number on catch rate for premier balls. For example, for throw number 3, 
we can determine the catch rate by looking at the maximum value that is returned by the server on failed catches on the third throw. The result is that the first Premier Ball has a catch rate multiplier of 1, the same as a regular Pokeball, and each subsequent Premier Ball multiplies the previous ball's catch rate by 1.05. So the second Premier Ball has a catch rate multiplier of 1.05, the third 1.1025, and so on. Interestingly, assuming this trend holds, we can figure out that by the ninth Premier Ball, we'll have a catch rate multiplier of about 1.5x, the same as a Great Ball. And the 15th ball will have a catch rate multiplier of about 2x, the same as an Ultra Ball. Interestingly, in a different tweet, at BMNRI Pogo plotted his results against the Silphrode's graph with the large error bars. This shows the two results are consistent, even if the true value falls right at the very bottom of the confidence intervals found by the Silphrode's research. Notably, the Silphrode research predicted Ultra Ball strength at around throw 9 or 10, but in reality, it's around throw 15. It is important to note, however, that the dataset used in the tweet only goes to the 7th throw, so we still don't know for sure if the catch rate scales up forever. It is an extrapolation to say that the 8th or 15th throw has a certain catch multiplier, but we have no reason to believe the throw bonus doesn't continue increasing. Let's look at what effect this throw boosted catch rate actually has on the overall catch rate of a typical non weather boosted legendary Pokemon, using the catch rate formula shown here, and assuming 15 throws. Most legendary Pokemon have a base catch rate of 2%. The maximum catch rate multipliers are Golden Raspberry, 2.5, Curveball, 1.7, Platinum Type Metal, 1.4, and Excellent Throw, around 1.7 to 1.9, which we'll call 1.8 for simplicity. Overall, these give a total catch rate multiplier before the Premier Ball Throw Number bonus of 2.5 times 1.7 times 1.4 times 1.8, which is 10.71. A non-weather boosted legendary caught in a raid is level 20, which has a CP multiplier of 0.5974 from this table. For the sake of comparison, let's assume the Premier Ball always has a catch rate multiplier of 1, and this doesn't increase with each throw. We can plug these numbers into the catch rate formula and find that we have a 16.54% chance of catching on each ball. Assuming 15 throws, we have a 93.36% chance of catching overall. Now, Let's look at the actual case, where the Premier Ball's catch rate increases by a multiple of 1.05 for every throw. This is a more complicated analysis, so I wrote a small Python script to do it for me. We find that the per throw catch probability goes from 16.54% on the first throw all the way up to 30.09% on the 15th throw. Overall, there is a 97.98% chance to catch. Without the multiplier, we had a 6.64% chance of the legendary fleeing. With the multiplier, we have only a 2.02% chance of the legendary flea. The chances of a flea have been reduced by over 3 times. So there you have it. In general, it doesn't seem to be the case that wasting balls increases catch rate. But for premier balls and raids, it has been conclusively proved that the catch rate increases multiplicatively by 1.05 for every throw. And this is an important boost that improves overall legendary catch rates substantially. Go follow BMNRI Pogo on Twitter if you want to see more insights like this. I find he often posts interesting stuff about Pokemon Go. Let me know in the comments if you already knew about this, or if this was new to you. To me, this throw boosted catch rate and in particular its exact amount doesn't seem very well known. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.